Hi guys, so welcome back to part two. Um, I'm gonna start with Mireya XO and her question was, where do you see yourself in 10 years from now and how many more kids do you want? And Vanessa Zacarias also said, would you like to have any more kids? And then this one, Baby and Mateo said, your children are so adorable. Are you planning on having any more kids? Okay. And she also said, after being in quarantine, will your mom be in your videos? Okay. So, like I said, I might show my mom, but I don't know. I just, I don't want to put her out there like that. So, she might not be in the videos. But, okay. The other question was about the kids. Everybody wants to know about the kids. Why? <laughs> like I said, you guys, I love my kids and everything. And I always said, guys, y'all are going to think I'm crazy, but... I always said, my mom told me that my grandma had like 14 kids, my dad's dad had 10 kids, his mom had 8 I think, and then his stepmom had 2 of his brothers. So I always thought that they had big families and I loved when I would go over to my cousin's house and there's like a whole bunch of kids everywhere and uncles and aunts and I like that. Um, and so I would always say I'm gonna have 12 kids because I want all my little duckies right here My little kids are running around the house destroying everything making a mess but <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that changed real quick um, after I had Janice and Sophie because I was like wow, it's it's easy to say that you want a lot of kids, but it's hard to take care of them and expensive so uh, I decided that I wanted to have one more and hopefully it was a boy and if it was a boy I still in my heart though felt like six was good it was a good number but then I don't know now it's so stressful and it's so um it's just stressful it's stressful having kids because you want them to be okay and if something happens you're like no I don't want my nothing to happen to my kids and so it's it causes you a lot of stress um, I'm not saying bad stress like oh, I'm so frustrated. Why is there so many kids running around? Not that kind of stress. I'm talking about like Worry Worrying a lot. That's what I meant. I just don't want to worry a lot And I feel like if I have more kids and more kids I'm gonna be more worried and more worried so I feel like I'm done and I feel like these four are the four that I'm gonna have But like I said, you can't say that because God is up there laughing at you like hmm, watch you're gonna have like 12 <laughs> or or watch you're gonna have like six or whatever you know so you really can't say anything but <clears throat> my voice is starting to go away because i'm talking so much okay but yeah that's my answer to that question and the next question is from fabiola medina why, oh, what do your kids call Ricky? When I watch your vlogs, I hear them call call him something else other than dad. If so, did they name did the name come? If so, how did the name come about? Okay, so you're right. They call him Doi. <laughs> they call him Doi. It means dad, daddy. But when Janice was little, she just couldn't say daddy i was like tell daddy tell daddy where's daddy where's daddy and she would be like doi doi like she would say doi and that just always stuck in her head and from then on she always called him doi sophie heard her call him doi and i probably told her go to doi and so she just got used to calling him doi because i got used to calling him doi too so they just called him doi and that's why they call him doi but that means daddy so it's not like they're calling him something else and not dad they are calling him dad um just in their way i always tell them call him daddy he's your dad why are you calling him doi and they're like it's because i'm so used to calling that and that's true whenever you call your dad something or your mom something like i always call my mom "papa" or "ama," and if i say mommy it's gonna sound weird because i don't call her that all the time i call her "ama" or "papa." so i don't know it's just what they call him grayson calls him dada or daddy and I don't know what Ellie's gonna call him. Ellie might call him Doi too. I don't know, but he knows that they mean um, that they mean daddy. So the next question is Rocio Guerrero, will you eventually furnish and decorate the house? <laughs> yes. Let me get this. Push this close to the homo. 
Wow, this took like half an hour because I'm talking so much. Okay, <clears throat> more than half an hour. Okay, yes, I will, but I'm still trying to decide what I want in my house and we're still trying to decide a lot of things. So that's why you still don't see furniture because we're still not sure about a lot of things. A lot of things. I just don't want to talk about all this right now because it's so stressful, but we're still trying to decide a lot of things right now so that's why this house is still and not all the way furnished but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens guys i just don't want to talk about that a lot right now um let's see Aveline rivera said if you could live anywhere else other than dallas where would it be and why okay guys i love farmhouses i love like seeing people like in farmhouse style houses i i love all that so <clears throat> if i were to live somewhere else i would want to live i don't even really care where it is uh, i would love to live like in a ranch style house like where there's a lot of acres and your little house right in the middle and there's like a long entrance to drive up to your house and then your kids are running around everywhere and like there's so much space and you can like barely see the neighbor's house or you can't even see the neighbor's house you can't even see the neighbor's house like from how far it is that's what i would love and then to have like a little chicken coop or something like that and little chickens laying eggs and their little babies hatching and and all that not to i mean i guess you would have to eat some of the chicken eggs because i don't think they're all like chicks but i would want them to hatch i wouldn't want them i wouldn't want to eat them but i feel like that's what i would love and then to have a horse but i feel like i wouldn't want to ride him because i'll feel so bad that i'm so heavy and he's gonna have to be pulling me around everywhere but just to like pet him and see him running around free i don't know i would just i love that i love that maybe it's because i've always lived in the city and now i feel like i want to live in a farm because somebody that probably lives on a farm wants to live in the city now because they're tired of being in a farm but i feel like that's what i would love i would love that i'm about to run out of time again hold on okay but yeah that's the kind of house that i would love to live on in a farm somewhere wide open green trees everywhere like that's what i would love okay the next question is did your parents agree with you being with ricky how dumb can ricky be sometimes love you and keep being yourself that's from d rodriguez um at first of course not they did not want that because who would want their 14 year old daughter dating anybody like i was 14 guys of course my parents are gonna be like um why are you with him you cannot have a boyfriend right now my parents do not want me to have a boyfriend my mom at the end i feel like she kind of was like okay she's gonna have a boyfriend let her have a boyfriend but not here like he, he cannot be in my house or nothing so i don't know but they just didn't want me to have a boyfriend my dad i never even had to talk with my parents is that weird like they never had to talk with me my dad tried to he tried to once and it was so cringy it was so cringy i wanted the ground to swallow me because i was like no how can my dad because i am so shy you guys and i feel like my parents talking to me about any of this stuff makes me so uncomfortable so when my dad started talking to me about um like that stuff that happens when you know the stuff that happens <laughs> i don't want to say the word because i don't know if anything will happen so um he was talking to me about that and that, about protection and stuff and i felt so uncomfortable because i was like i don't care i don't want to hear you telling me and then the worst thing that he did was he told my aunt that he had to talk to me so my aunts and uncles knew and so my cousins knew and they told me they were like so your dad had to talk with you he told my mom and i was like no 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 i just wanted to die i wanted to die because i was like why are you telling everybody why are you telling everybody that you had to talk with me i feel so embarrassed now <clears throat> but 
I don't know. They just really never talked about it. Like as much as Ricky's parents do, like they talk about it like all the time. Like not not all the time. I don't mean it like in that way. I mean like they talk to you more open about it. So when I first got with Ricky and they would talk like about stuff like that, I felt so uncomfortable because I was like, how can they just like talk about all this? Like like nothing. And I don't know. My family has never been like that. Maybe that's why I'm so shy because my mom is kind of like that i don't know but i just felt so like oh my gosh they're just talking about it all open and everything and but i i like that kind of like i want to be like that with my kids so i kind of do talk to them more like that because i would rather them know and tell me stuff than for them to be hiding stuff from me like i did with my parents because i felt so uncomfortable about everything that I felt so like I can't talk to my parents about that. That's so embarrassing. So <sighs> I I would rather talk to my kids about it. So what was the question? Oh, that if they agreed with me being with Ricky, of course not. So um, but now my dad loves Ricky and he loves the way that he is. So I know that my dad really likes him because I feel like. Sometimes I see some of the things that like Ricky does are kind of how my dad is and sometimes the way that Ricky thinks is kind of the way my dad thinks too. So I don't know, I I feel like my dad likes him and the way that he is with me and the way he treats me and he's probably happy with everything that he's done for our family so my dad's proud I guess. And then um, will Grayson be attending preschool? Ha oh that's from HH. Have or will your oldest girls ever been in extracurricular activities, gymnastics, ballet, taekwondo? Do you all socialize with anybody else besides the people from your immediate family? Will Grayson be attending preschool? Um, he won't because I will be homeschooling. So I'm going to homeschool him and we're going to do everything together and learn together and everything. So... He will not be going to preschool and what else was the question do the older older girls do any extracurricular activities that was the question so they don't um but there's a lot of places around here that do do extracurricular activities like there's a what's it taekwondo or karate i don't know what it was but i saw one around here and there's a little like center i don't know what it was called but it's like a little youth center thing like a rec recreation center where they can go and do stuff i might sign them all up in that since we're going to be doing homeschool now and they're not going to be around a lot of kids i still want them to feel like they have friends and stuff so i might sign them up for stuff like that if they decide they want to do that if they want to go do gymnastics or anything like that of course i'm going to take them so they will if they want to and then do you socialize with anybody else besides the people from your immediate family? Not really. Not really. Just us. But the kids, of course, with their friends that they had, they would talk to them and everything. But not really, guys. Not really. And then, what is going to be the upload schedule for this channel? That's from Jeanette Janos Janowski? Janowski? and i'm gonna try i'm gonna try guys because i want to be consistent on here and i don't want to lie to you there and be like yes i'm gonna post every day and something like that you know but i'm gonna try to post every other day i'm gonna try i'm gonna try really hard because i'm really enjoying this i really like talking to you guys and i don't know commenting with you and i like the stuff that y'all tell me the stuff that i want to see and the comments that y'all leave me like talking i feel like we're friends so I'm going to try to post every other day. And then Victoria said, have you guys always lived in Texas? Would you like to move to any other state? If yes, which one? Um, we've always lived in Texas. So I feel like we would stay in Texas. I don't feel like I would move to another state. Maybe if I would, maybe Oklahoma, because that's really close to Texas. But I don't know. I don't feel like I could move away from Texas. So... I feel like we would stay in Texas and if I were to move to another state, like if I had to, had to, 
I feel like I would want to move somewhere like with a lot of like country like a like a really country state so I might move to like um, Tennessee maybe um, something like that I don't know I gotta look it up or Oklahoma like I said Oklahoma's really country too so I don't know I just I like a lot of land I want a cow I want two cows because I don't want them to be lonely and I want two horses because I don't want one to be too lonely and then I want chickens and a rooster and a dog but I want him to have a girlfriend so I want everything but let's see Evelyn Z said what do you like doing for yourself my favorite thing that I do for myself that makes me feel like ah, like I did something even though it's not a lot is probably doing my nails like my toenails or my fingernails mostly my toenails though because I don't like doing my nails because I'll do my nails like really nice and then it'll be chipped in like five seconds like as soon as I get it done I'll go and cook or wash dishes and then I look at my nails and they're like cracked or something and I'm like no why did it chip and so it gets me frustrated because then I have to go back in and do it again and I'm like what's the point of doing it over and over if it's gonna get messed up anyways so um I feel like the the next best thing is doing my toenails because those those toenail the nail polish things whenever you do it on your toes it lasts so much longer I don't know why maybe it's because your feet are covered up most of the time or I don't know what it is but I don't know I just like doing my toenails and maybe when I straighten my hair or curl my hair or whatever it kind of makes me feel good too you know it makes me feel like ah, I did something you know like I, I did something different than what I usually do which is put my hair up in a bun or leave it all crazy like you've seen it me looking like a clown or whatever so those are the things that I like to do for myself and I also like reading if I can read something for a little while or watch videos on doing soaps or something satisfying I don't know those are the things I like to do and let me see Nayeli Martinez said what are your plans for the next two years somebody actually said something kind of similar but I don't know where it is Okay, well, for the next two years, oh, I don't know. I told you guys about the making kids books. I want to try to do that. I don't even know where to start though, so I gotta see how I could do that. But the next two years, hopefully homeschooling and everything is going great. So we'll see though. I feel like it's going to be a struggle at first. Like... It's going to be so hard getting them used to being homeschooled because they're going to feel like everything is fun and games until they get to doing work and projects and stuff. So it's going to be a struggle first, but I feel like I want to see myself in two years. Maybe I have already written a book or something for kids and my kids are doing really good in homeschool and that's all that I want and happy and healthy and alive <laughs> that's what i want for from up uh, from two years from now that's why i see myself in two years from now and then somebody said the same question little tomato said did your parents like ricky at first that's the same question and then beto villela said are you having any more kids i already answered that and then are you getting more tattoos he said maybe probably i don't know where i'll get a tattoo but this these last ones that i got were so painful for some reason and the ones when i got when i was younger were not so i don't know what's going on but oh wrong hand this one and the one on my foot were not painful at all and then this one on my finger and then this one and then the one i have over here behind my ear if y'all can see it was it on the right side i don't even know what side it's on yeah it's on this side that one was super painful these were all painful well this one was not this one was scary because it went zzz in my skull so it was scary but for some reason those were more painful than and they were smaller than the ones that i already have so but i feel like i probably will i don't know where because ricky will go get one and then i'll be like you know what i'm gonna get one too so i might and then um beto also said how did you get your scar and what country would you like to know okay y'all already most of y'all already know the story about this everybody asks if you're new you probably are asking why i have that 
this little scar right here well when i was two years old i was standing on a glass table there was a tv on it it broke and i got cut by a glass there i made the the story short for you oh my gosh i need another hanger oh here they are okay so what country would i like to know um a country that i would like to visit is hmm i'm between italy and spain i think italy and spain sounds so like like wow like i feel like they have a lot of architecture like buildings that are beautiful inside and stuff like that and from the outside too and old and i don't know i would like to see those so that's probably where i would want to go and then the next question is uh, from claudia hernandez have you ever been or felt depressed do you plan on having more kids in the future what is one thing goal you would like to accomplish oh my gosh she has a lot of questions hold on let me answer the first one have you ever been or felt depressed um yes yes i have but my kids get me through it because i see my kids and i'm like i cannot let this make me feel like that and take me take me away from my kids so my kids are what helps me i feel like if i didn't have my kids maybe it would be a different story but my kids helped me through this a lot and they don't notice either of course i'm not gonna tell them but i have been or felt depressed and then do you plan but you know what guys if you feel depressed do something that makes you happy do something that gets you excited just waking up in the morning is something that you're so lucky to do so i feel like everything you do in the day you should do it positively even if bad things happen you should always think maybe god has a reason for these things to happen that's what i always say everything happens for a reason if something bad happens don't don't cry over it for so long you can cry over it but don't be so worried about it for so long because god knows what he's doing and why he's doing it and because there's been so many times that something happens to us that we're like oh my gosh this is so horrible why is this happening but then something comes out and you're like why was i questioning that if this happened and now i'm so much better like god knows what he's doing so just i don't know just be happy <laughs> i don't know i don't know what to say guys but don't give up there's been so many times that i want to give up and i didn't because i just can't i can't do it i'm here for a reason and i want to keep being here as long as i can so god gave me life and i'm not gonna take it away from i'm not gonna take it away like it's my life i'm gonna do everything i can and make as many people happy as i can and i'm gonna be happy too because i want my kids to be happy so let's go on to the next question um <clears throat> Do you plan on having more kids in the future? I already answered that. What is one thing, goal, you would like to accomplish? <sighs> Am I done doing laundry? That's one thing. Uh, I already told y'all about maybe writing kids books. And I want to also accomplish homeschooling. And do good and see my kids graduate from my homeschool. From Leslie's school. And that's the most important thing. I want to see my kids grow up and be good people that's the most important thing and then how do you feel about people constantly judging your relationship with your in-laws and ricky's sister they're judging my relationship oh i know what you're talking about like what people say oh she wanted them out oh she wanted this oh guys there's gonna be people judging me no matter what i can do something so nice for them and they're gonna say ah oh, she doesn't even like them or blah, blah 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 um i can do something mean and then they're gonna be like oh my gosh you're so mean why would you do that like either way they're gonna judge me so i'm not gonna say nothing like what can i say what can i say that's gonna make everybody be like oh my gosh like if i say something they're gonna be like yeah right you're a liar but i'm thankful for everything that they've done for us and i love them like if they were my own parents because they kind of raised me too because i moved in with them when i was probably 14 or 15 i think i was already 15 when i moved in with them so it's like they raised me so 
for 10 years I've been living with them so I'm basically like their adopted daughter you know so of course I love them and um, have you ever considered getting a procedure done for example doing your boobs liposuction etc I was so scared of surgery when I gave birth the reason I didn't get an epidural was because I was so scared of the needle I kept hearing that they put a huge needle in your back and in my head I was like it's gonna be a needle this big and this thick and I'm gonna die and and I was just like I'm not gonna get the epidural so that's why I had to go through all that pain because I was that scared that I would rather feel that much pain from giving birth than getting an epidural so I doubt I doubt guys that I would ever get any type of surgery to change my looks or anything I don't want bigger boobs I want smaller boobs my boobs are so big and saggy I want small ones <laughs> I used to say all the time why are my boobs so small I want like an A cup and now I want them to be mm. <sighs> Anyways, I would not do none of that. Or liposuction. I'm so scared. When I see the videos of the people like getting liposuction, like and taking out all the fat in those big needles, mm -mm. I don't care how bad I get. I'm not doing that. And then um, I was looking through the videos, guys. This is it. I finally finished reading all the questions. But I saw what somebody said. Miss Randa said, post a post. Where people drop their favorite snacks and you try them on your video that is i commented and said that is such a good idea because i love food you guys and that would be such a good video for me to do because i love snacks i feel like i would like everything that y'all tell me but you you never know there's some there might be some weird people out there that like to eat pickles with mayonnaise wait that's not bad <laughs> that like to eat <clears throat> I can't think of nothing bad. Fish with peanut butter or something nasty. I don't know. I love all kinds of food, so I feel like I'll like everything. But oh, we're finally done, guys, with this video. Let me know if you had any more questions. Because I know some of y'all are my teachers. And leave your questions down below. And yeah, I'll answer some of your questions. I hope that y'all got the answer that you wanted. I might have gone off and talked about some random stuff, but. I hope you enjoyed this video anyways guys and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!